What's up guys? More Medic One here. Hey, real super quick video on how to uh, diagnose a steel 4 mix without any tools. All you need is a piece of Tigon to shove down into the impulse hose here. You're basically going to use your human power, your breath, and you're going to use uh, your mouth to use as a suction and all you have to do is block off the intake and block off the exhaust with your fingers and give this thing a blow and it should hold pressure and it should hold vacuum now as you can tell I've already replaced the seals see all this dirt accumulation this where this seal was leaking as well as this seal here now I cleaned this up with some brake clean that's why it's not as dirty as this side but nevertheless these little four mix engines if they get an air leak even the tiniest air leak they will not run right they'll not they'll have zero idle they will just absolutely run erratic and I'll guys I'll put uh, link in the description below and I'll even right up here I'll uh, I'm gonna put a card it may be at the beginning of the video I've got a whole playlist on these steel four mixes and I highly suggest that you click on that uh, card so that you get all those four mix videos they're just awesome and so what I want to do is kind of show you how to perform this little suction and vacuum test without any tools. So what you want to do, you want to plug off the exhaust port with your finger, index finger, whatever, and over on this side, take your thumb and plug off the intake side. And we're just going to take and blow into the impulse. Can't blow. Now I'm going to draw a vacuum. I'm going to consider this one okay. Now, I know the proper way would be to put a, you know, a vacuum pump on it and, and, and pull a vacuum and then, uh, you know, pressurize the crankcase. But if you want to do it this way, this will help you out for sure. Especially the, uh, the backyard guy or, or even, you know, seasoned technicians. Hey, this is a, I would call this just a shortcut. I don't see why you'd have to spend, you know, the several hundred dollars on equipment when you could just do it this way. I mean, it's just when I removed my thumb, we lost all vacuum. So, I mean, the crankcase is sealed. And so, when I put this back together, it's going to run right. Guys, if you're going to do this repair yourself, I highly recommend uh, getting the part number 4180-007-1036. Is, they call it a set of gaskets. It comes with everything you need to seal this little 4-mix engine. Guys, a lot of people don't like this little 4-mix engine. I think they're awesome. When they're running right, man, they got a ton of power, ton of torque. Uh, yeah, so... Just remember, if you get one that's not running right, just do a quick and dirty leak down test on it, and that'll tell you real quick where you need to go. And also, you can put a long enough hose on it, you can just dunk the whole thing down in a bucket of water and blow, and you'll find the leaks quick, because uh, it, the, the bubbles will just come out from around wherever it's leaking. Uh, I wouldn't suggest dunking it in water I would take the ignition coil off, but I've done it with the coil on, and it doesn't hurt anything, but you never know. Yours might have a small crack in it and uh, get water in it and short out. Who knows? But anyway, guys, hey, if this content helped you out, please give me a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button. And while you're there doing that, go ahead and click that bell so that you get all of my 
new uploads. Y'all have a good day. More than a good day.